Welcome. This time you will learn about participles used as adjectives in present and in past. Please take notes and feel free to play the audio program as well as the explanation as many times as you need to. Page 87. Exercise 3. Grammar Focus. Participles as Adjectives. Present Participles. Stephen King's books are fascinating. The last James Bond film was boring. The new Halle Berry movie sounds interesting. Past participles. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. I was bored by the last James Bond film. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. Hey, what's going on, Eric? How you doing? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I am very tired. How do you feel today? Tired? Why are you tired? Uh, because... Um, because... Yesterday and... and and this day, uh, plans of the purchase of the uh, chemicals and and dyes for the for for the use the the production for the factory textile. Oh, the, nice, the nice. Plan of, the plan on purchase for the all, all is the, the 
all of us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay. And why does that make you feel stressed out? Why? Uh, because it's very complicated. Um, uh, Can you describe to me a little bit about the process? What is the uh, process? Uh, fears, fears, um, uh, uh, and no, say, and como sería analizar, analyze, analyze the the consumo, so, consumption, so, con, uh, consumption, I analyze the consumption. Okay, for the uh, for the all all uh, sería todo el 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 o sea to, toda la producción all the production the whole production the whole production the the months ago. Uh, 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 second, second, a uh, quote with uh, the most providers, more providers, more providers, and analyze price, analyze price, and a uh, uh, stock and other uh, um, other aspects uh, other points other points uh -huh. uh, um, luego plans the the date of the the uh, Sería eh, oh, bueno, del logístico, del logístico. Eh, and is, is uh, more, uh, more money, <laughs> is more money the, the use in, in, in all process. Nice. And when you speak a lot of English, a lot of money. Uh, debería. <laughs> Now, do you like English? Uh, yes, I I like because me cuesta. That's okay. That's okay. It, But you understand that English is a key. Do you know what is a key? Uh, yes, in 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 this in what say yeah. in in this plaza or como como se, se, se diría position position in this position is uh, necessary. Mm -hmm. It's very necessary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, you are in the right place at the right time, at the right channel. Welcome. I am going to transmit telepathically all my English knowledge to you. Thank you, teacher. All you need to do is be receptive to receive the knowledge and put it into practice and make a lot of money. That's it. In, in my case, is is <clears throat> difficult to uh, remember uh, uh, 
words for the construct the 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 uh, sentence that that's okay that's okay memory practice creates memory now today we are going to get started with a review of the video from yesterday's topic do you remember this topic do you remember this topic from yesterday um more or less the okay that's good we are going to review it right now everybody listen please take out your notebook can below with listen. the correct can everybody hear as always write your answers in our discussion box can everybody hear yes teacher yes teacher okay welcome this time you will learn about participles used as adjectives in present and in past. Please take notes and feel free to play the audio program as well as the explanation as many times as you need to. Page 87. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Participles as adjectives. Present participles. Stephen King's books are fascinating. The last James Bond film was boring. The new Halle Berry movie sounds interesting. Past participles. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. I was bored by the last James Bond film. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. Before we begin, I want to go over to what exactly is the past participle. The past participle is the form of a verb typically ending in ed in English that is used in forming perfect and passive tenses and sometimes as an adjective. In this section, we'll study participles as adjectives. Pay attention. I want to go over two important points. Number one, do you remember what an adjective is? Very good. An adjective describes a noun. For example, the white cat ran away from John. Adjective, white, noun, cat. In other words, because participles can be used as adjectives, it means that the participle as adjective also describes a noun. For example, the white cat was exciting to watch. Noun, cat, participle as adjective, exciting. Number two, I imagine you noticed we use present and past participles during the audio program. Let's work around that. When we use present participle, we add ing. And when we use past participle, we add ed. Notice what happens here. We took the verb excite and we turn it into present participle, becoming exciting. The same verb, but this time into past participle and it became excited. I know you're wondering when to use participles in present or past. Here you go. Present participles describe a noun and past participles describe feeling of a noun. I'll try to simplify it. ing equals outside factor that causes a feeling. ed equals expresses the feeling or reaction. With examples, I am sure you will understand it better. Here, I am just showing you the present and past participle. Interesting, interested. Tiring, tired, exciting, excited. Now we'll use them in sentences. The museum is interesting. I'm interested. Work is tiring. I am tired. The movie is exciting. I'm excited. Please complete the description below with the correct form of these words. 
As always, write your answers in our discussion box. Okay, guys, so we did this activity yesterday. Now, for today, what we are going to do is move forward and look at the following activity. For the following activity, I want everybody to pay attention and look at section number three, Point four, knowledge check. Section 3.4, knowledge check. In this section, what we are going to do is look at the activity that says, complete these sentences, use the adjectives in brackets. For example, the words in brackets in this sentence, the word is amaze. Everybody listen and repeat. Amaze. 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 Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Depp. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Is a very. Is a, a very. very mm, mm, actor. Actor. What is the answer? Amazing or amazed? No, 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 no. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Okay. <laughs> you are going to do this activity in pairs, and then we are going to check together as a class. And if you have any questions, then you can ask. Do you understand the activity? Yes, teacher. All yes, right. Teacher. At this moment, I am going to allow everybody to share the screen. I'm going to allow everybody to share your screen so one person can share the screen. Ready? Let's go. You can share your screen. You can share your screen. Thank you. Yes, I, I, I am not, I am not interested. Yes, I am by watching television. Bored. Bored. The first one. Yes. Yes. I. Touch Jurassic Park was a book exciting. 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 What was an exciting? Exciting. I touch. I am by J. R. R. Tolkien's novels. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. The first. Fascinated. It's that horror movies are so popular. Surprise. Surprising? It's surprising. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was really by the price. Shock. Shocked. 
Shock. The second. The, the mess was disused. Disgusting. Disgusting. Yes. I always find thrillers too confused. Con mm, confusing. Confusing. Ta, 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 ta. Ok, vamos a ver, tenemos una como la... Amazing. Amazing. Johnny yeah, Depp man. is very amazing. Uh -huh. Yes. Ahí está. Yes. Yay. Ajá, que había visto, por ejemplo, en un, en un juego que cuando te salía todo bien y decía amazing. En ese caso entendería que es igual, es como profesional. Amazing era como una exclamación dentro del juego. Ajá, o sea, digamos, si hacía lo normal no salía nada, pero de repente era una cosa como de billar, y cuando me salió una jugada más de lo normal, ¿no? o sea, no solo una pelota, sino como una metía otra, otra sino decía amazing. Mm -hmm. Ajá, no, no, amazing, por eso, por eso tiene sentido. Johnny Depp is very amazing. Amazing actor. Mm -hmm. Porque en ese caso entiendo que algo así era como que el juego me estaba diciendo, eres profesional, ¿sí? es un pro. No, es, es, creo que Amazing es como, no es como increíble, o un sinónimo de eso, no, no, no sé, no estoy seguro. Amazing. O sorprendente, ah no, asombroso. Ah, ajá, ajá. En ese caso es uh, porque... Es un asombroso actor. Ah, porque si dijera solo a Mace. Vamos a ver. A Asombrado. Mace. Ajá, o sea, en este caso es que yo, Dios. digamos, que el, yo lo vi y me quedé asombrado en ese caso. Porque es un actor, Ajá. no sé, va, interesante. Yo lo vi y me quedé asombrado. Pero, ED es como se describe el, como, ajá. El, el sentimiento, como, digamos, viendo desde la perspectiva de Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp was uh, very amazed. Ajá, aquí está, ajá, viendo ese, el, 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 ¿cómo se llama? El, del sustantivo. Creo que algo así decía ahí, nouns. No, ese es el, el pronombre, creo que es. Creo. Espérame, lo vamos a buscar. <ríe> ah, no, si sí es el sustantivo, sí. Bueno, la onda es que es amazing. <ríe> <ríe> sí. Solo, ajá, solo con este había uno, quiero ver, ahí fue. Normalmente cuando se utiliza el, el, el I'm, casi siempre es in, termina con ED. Es como el sentimiento propio, digámoslo así. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ajá, y ya viéndolo de como, no sé, como en otra perspectiva, es con el ING. Ajá, eso es cuando uno es el. Ajá, represent. Vamos a ver, el was. En este caso, por ejemplo, esta, esta número 8, que es ahí, was, está hablando del pasado participio, creo que se hizo. 
Sí. Es con el ED, que Ajá, describe es. el sentimiento del sustantivo. Ok. Yes, was. Dice, I always find thrillers to confuse. Aquí, ¿cómo, ¿cómo se leería en español? I always find thrillers to confusing. Creo que así se pronuncia bien. Oh, ya no va a sacar. Sí, pero creo que sí, como lo dijo Eric, se pronuncia bien. Está bien pronunciado. Esa sería la pronunciación. Uh -huh. Porque la duda era con thriller, ¿verdad? Ajá. Thriller, vamos a ver. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. All right, Mario. <laughs> Number one, please, Mario. Amazing. Amazing, amazing is correct. Johnny Depp is a very amazing actor. Select somebody, Mario, select somebody. Lisette Castillo. Lisette Castillo, number two. Lisette Castillo, uh, number two. Amusing. I find animated films amusing, perfect. Lizette Castillo, select somebody. Marlon Barrientos. Marlon, number three. I am not interested in science fiction movies. Awesome. Select somebody for number four. Um, Diana Vasquez. Diana Vasquez, number four, Diana Vasquez. Baby, I'm coming, it's loading. That's okay, that's okay. Take your time. Number? Four. I'm bored by watching television. Excellent. I'm bored by watching television. Please select somebody for number five. Um, Angelica. Angelica, number five. Hello. I thought Jurassic Park was an exciting book. Perfect. Exciting. Number, select somebody, Angelica. For number six. Mm, Wendy. Wendy. Number five. Number six. Sorry, number six. Yes. I, I'm fantastic by J.R.R. Tolkien's novels. Excellent. I'm fascinated by J.R.R. Tolkien's novels. Thank you. Select somebody for number seven. Eric. 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 Number seven. Yes. It's surprising that horror movies are so popular. Perfect. It's surprising that horror movies are so popular. Repeat. Popular. 
popular. popular. Everybody, popular. listen and repeat. Popular. 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 Awesome. Awesome. Select somebody for number eight. Lizette Castillo. Lizette Castillo. Number eight. Shocked. Shocked. I was shocked. really shocked by shocked. the price. Thank you, Lisette Castillo. That is correct. Shocked. Select somebody. Number nine. Mario Barona. Mario Barona. The mess was disgusting. The mess was disgusting. Excellent. Select the last participant for number 10. Kevin. Kevin. I always find thrillers too confusing. Perfect. I always find thrillers. Everybody listen and repeat. Thrillers. 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 Everybody, everybody. Thrillers. 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 Too confusing. Let's Too confusing. check. Ding, ding, ding. Correct. All of your answers are correct. Applause for everybody. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. At this moment, does anybody have any questions about this vocabulary? Questions about this vocabulary? No, teacher. Okay, let's continue. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready, right, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. We're going to look at the next topic, which is going to be coming from section number Not here, teacher. Yeah, sorry. I uh, I was having problems with my mouse. Give me a second. Terrible. Unusual. Weird. All right. Fine. Ready to work? Got it. Go over the list of synonyms and place them Ready? under the correct category. Yes. All right. Please listen to the following list. Listen to the to following list and repeat the pronunciation. Absurd. Repeat. Absurd. 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 Dumb. 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 Marvelous. 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 Silly. 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 Bizarre. 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 Fabulous. 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 
Fabulous. Fabulous. Odd. 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 Terrible. 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 Disgusting. 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 Fantastic. 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 Outstanding. 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 Unusual. 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 Dreadful. 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 Horrible. 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 Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Weird. Weird. Yeah. All right. Listen, please. Hi. Ready to work? Go over the list of synonyms and place them under the correct category. You're going to look at the synonyms and place them in the correct category. Please listen to the following list for you to... For example, for example, dumb. What category am I going to put dumb? Stupid. So dumb goes in the category stupid. What about, Teacher, yes. What's the meaning of dumb? A dumb is the same as stupid. Oh, okay. Stupid and dumb are the same thing. Okay, thank you. For example, strange and weird, weird is the same meaning. Or oh, wonderful, I can say fabulous is the same, it's a synonym. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right, so you're going to categorize the words with a synonym. For example, wonderful, fabulous is the same meaning. Stupid, dumb is the same meaning. Strange, weird is the same meaning. So you're going to categorize the words in its correct form. Are you ready? Teacher, teacher. Ready. what is the meaning of dreadful? I'm sorry. I can only hear a dog. Uh, Lisette, can you put your microphone in silence, please? Thank you. Uh, somebody repeat. What was the question? What is the meaning of dreadful? Ah, dreadful. When I say, oh, my God. That was a dreadful, ooh, a dreadful experience. Like, ooh, ooh. It's like, it's scary. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And of? And what? I'm sorry? Of? Awful. Work it out. No, You odd. must make it. Odd. Odd. Odd, for example, when you see somebody and you say, hmm, I don't know. Hmm, that guy right there, that guy right there, I don't know what it is, but there is something odd about him. Like not normal. Like rare like rare or strange or weird. Okay, yes. thank you teacher. Of course. Okay, now in this activity, you are going to categorize the words here in the discussion forum. You're going to click where it says, añade una nueva eh, presentación. And then here, you're going to click where it says titulo, and you are going to write synonyms, 
Sinónimos. Synonyms. Synonyms. And you're going to categorize it right there. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? All right. Ready. Yes, teacher. Let's yes, teacher. Go. Hola. Hola, ¿pueden ver la pantalla? Sí. Ok. Eh, no sé si quiero verla, puedo hacer. Ahí está. Ahí. Vale. Eh, stupid, he eh, puesto dumb, silly. And well, uh huh, it's a dos. And strange, uh, puesto weird, and and odd. Mm. Hello. Sorry. Eh, bueno, en Wonderful he puesto Fabulous and Fantastic. Y eso es que ponerlo en, en, en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, yo los estoy escribiendo porque, pues, eh, ajá, ¿verdad? Sí, está bien. No sé si disgusting podría ir en strange. Disgusting. Ajá. Es como disgustado, ¿verdad? Disgustado. Pero también está awful. Que es como horrible. No sé si... Porque en Azul le he puesto horrible y dreadful. Y terrible, ¿dónde lo puse? Terrible. Para mí que es en awful. Así como terrible, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O sea, como de una situación 
temerosa. Uh -huh. Ridiculous puede ir en stupid. Uh, stupid, ajá, o sea, ridículo. ¿Qué significa marvelous? Marvelous es maravilloso. En wonderful puede ir. En wonderful. Ajá. Uh -huh. Fabulous, marvelous, y fantastic. Uh -huh. En Wonderful he puesto Fabulous, Fantastic y Marvelous. Uh -huh. mm. Para mí bizarro puede ir en Awful también. Uh -huh. Y Absurd puede ir en Stupid. Stupid. Disgusted, dijimos que en Stranger. No, eh, sí, eh, disgusting. Ah, no. esa, no, esa le preguntaba, ajá, esa no sé en dónde ponerle. Ay, que es disgustado. Porque también nos hace falta. Outstanding. Austen es como ausente, ¿verdad? Eh, según traductor Google, es sobresaliente. <risa> ah. Podría ir en Wonderful. En Wonderful. Ah, ajá, en Wonderful. Sobresaliente. Ajá. Outstanding. Silly es tonto. En estúpido. Ajá. Y weird, weird, weird. Weird, weird and strange. The weird es como raro. Uh -huh. También dijo que odd era como ex extraño. Odd es extraño. Uh -huh. Ay, esto me cuesta a mí. Ya, ya. A mí también. <risa> que de memorizar todo eso. Sí. Ya todas están, ¿verdad? No, faltaría. Tres. Ah, no, ya dijimos. All right, all right, is everybody finished or do you need more time? Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finish. Okay, okay. Let me have one example for the first one right here. Awful. Terrible. Terrible. Dreadful. Dreadful. Horrible. Disgusting. Ter terrible. Dreadful. Disgusting. Horrible. Okay. What about wonderful? Fabulous. Fantastic. Oh, wonderful is fabulous, fantastic. 
Marvelous. 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 Outstanding. Outstanding. What about, what about stupid? Bizarre. Sure. Dumb. Silly. Bizarre. Silly. Ridiculous. 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 Absurd. Absurd. What about, what about strange? Bizarre. Bizarre. Odd. 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 Unusual. 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 Wired. Everybody Wired. listen and repeat. Unusual. 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 Weird. 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 Odd. 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 All right. Now, what we are going to do is continue to the next activity. The next activity is going to be a listening activity, which is going to be coming from section 3.7, listening exercise. How did you like it? Esa pregunta eh, se traduce, uh, for example, when you go to a restaurant and you say, for example, ¿Cómo estuvo la comida? How did you like it? Right, people say, um, yeah, it was good, it was greasy, it was crunchy, it was spicy, it was delicious, it was good. Or you can say, for example, ¿Cómo estuvo la movie? How did you like it? Um, it was boring, it was entertaining, it was fantastic, I enjoyed it. Right, so how did you like it? It's like, ¿Cómo te gustó? Or ¿Cómo estuvo? Any questions? All right, you're going to click no right teacher. here and you're going to click right here and you're going to listen to the audio. Page 88. Can everybody hear? Can everybody hear? Listening. Okay. How did you yes. like it? Then Part you're going a. to come over here and Listen answer one, fascinating, movies. silly, strange, each person would or two, wonderful, odd, movie? One. Or boring. What did you think of the new Stephen Number King three, book? boring, oh, terrific, once dreadful. I got started, I couldn't and number four, reading. ridiculous, I interesting, four in the or exciting. So you're and going to listen and then identify the correct answer. Are you ready? Ready. All right. Yes, We're going to go ahead and work in pairs, change partners. Let's go. Page 88. Escuchas. Part A. Listen to people talk about books yes. and movies. Do you think each person would recommend the book or movie? One. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? Oh, once I got started, I couldn't stop reading. I stayed up till four o'clock in the morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. Two. Fascinating. Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah, it was so... Sure. Page 89. Dull, but I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Really? He's usually pretty good. 
Well, not in this movie. She choose better roles. Three. What did you think of that documentary about Australia? Yes, two. Two. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah, it was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, really? He's usually pretty good. Well, not in this movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. Three. What did Hello. you think about Morning. Australia? I love it so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. Four. Have you read that book that just came out about UFOs? Yeah, what a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. Uh-huh. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Page 88, mm. exercise five, part B. Listen again. Check the adjective that best describes what they say about each one. One. What did you think of the new Stephen King book? Oh, once I got started, I couldn't stop. Morning to finish it. And wasn't the ending great? Yeah, it really was. Such a surprise. And the whole story moved along so fast, too. Two. How did you like the movie? Well, I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah, it was so dull that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting from Jim Carrey. Oh, really? He's usually pretty good. Well, not in this movie. I wish he'd choose better roles. Three. What did you think of the documentary about Australia? I learned so much. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Uh-huh. It was pretty amazing. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. Four. For me, it's three to four. For me, the number two. Yeah, what a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. Uh-huh. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm sick of hearing stories about little green mm -hmm. creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? The number three is... is oh, bad. It's difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult. Terrific. Uh -huh. Yes. 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 Finish, teacher. Okay, who can give me the answer for number one? What is the answer for number one? Fascinating. 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 Number two. Boring. 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 Number three. Terrific. Terrific. Number four. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ding, 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 ding. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time's up. Does anybody have any questions about this exercise? No, teacher. Everybody listen and repeat. Fascinating. 
Fascinating. Fascinating. Fascinating. Fascinating. Fascinating. Fascinating. Boring. 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 Terrific. 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 Ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please continue working on the platform. And I see you Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Bye bye. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.